What's going on everybody, my name is Jack. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. If you're new here, I upload daily content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe now if that sounds interesting to you. But today, like I just said, we're gonna be, did I just say? I don't even think I did. I think I, think I said welcome back. Today we're talking about how to stream with a camera as your webcam. This is something that I literally could have been doing the entire time I've ever been streaming. And just actually, for me being silly and not looking into it, just didn't realize I could do it. So today I'm literally just gonna try and showcase this to other people who you know don't realize they can do it, but you can definitely do it. Now, all the ways to actually kind of um, you, you know live stream with your camera as your webcam, they're all pretty similar, but they all you know for different brands of cameras follow a slightly different version of this method. So excuse me for the fact that unfortunately I don't have loads of different brands of cameras. I only have a Sony camera, so this will 100% work for Sony cameras and will probably have to be adapted and taken little bits of it to other type of cameras, right? So there's nothing I can really do about that. This is obviously primarily going to be the Sony way of um, you know, actually being able to stream with your cameras, the webcam, but 100% this is something that all cameras can do. It should be relatively straightforward and uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm going to do this by steps, right? Um, and I'm just going to literally just break down the steps, show you guys B-roll on screen of actually how to do it and walk and talk through the type of stuff. So the actual elements of what you need to make this work is literally going to just be a camera, the actual wire to, you know, c connect, the, the camera and, and the device together, and then just the uh, the programs, which I'm gonna show you how to actually download and everything like that um, in today's video, and that's it. So the software on your computer, the actual camera, and the wire. Very simple setup, and uh, without further ado, let's do it, right? So step one is go into the settings on your actual camera, right? So before you've actually done everything, before you've connected anything, you actually have to go into the camera settings, and what you have to do is you have to find a section where you can change it to remote view. You can also change it to like mass storage, transfer, stuff like that. But essentially follow the on-screen directions to the place where you can change it to remote. And what this is going to do is, is enable you to remotely use the camera and remotely access it on your computer, right? Which is pretty crucial. And uh, there is some interesting other ways where you can do this via some Wi-Fi and stuff like that. Personally, I didn't get into that. I did this in the, the simplest possible way, right? So... Change it to remote view. Once your, your camera is actually set up to receive a remote uh, connection or be used as a remote device, uh, then step two is connect the camera to the computer using the wire that it came with, right? Um, I tried connecting with some other wires. This is literally just a, uh, what, what is it? Micro USB or universal charger. I think it's micro USB. Uh, so this is just micro USB, uh, micro USB to USB. And it was being a little glitchy with the wire that wasn't the one that literally came with the camera. So be careful about that. Maybe use an actual wire that is, uh, you know, more official. Ideally, the one that came with the camera. For me, that actually was a situation, right? And uh, you also have to switch the camera to photo mode. In video mode, for some reason, it's not picked up. It's literally just not very, very well picked up. You want to switch it to camera mode. So, so far, all you've done is you've gone into settings, you've changed to remote, and you've also, you know, switched your camera to picture mode and connected the, the micro USB to the camera and then the USB to the actual computer. Everything should be connected, right? Next up, what you want to do is you actually have to have a reader program, okay? And the program is called Remote. It's literally called Remote, right? So I'll leave a link down below if you want to download this program. It takes five minutes. It, it, it's actually a combination of three programs. It is uh, three programs. They are called, I'm going to look on my desktop and see exactly what the three are called. It's called Edit, Remote, and Viewer, right? They're all orange uh, icons. They're all orange programs. And these right here are the ones that actually enable you to do like a live view type of thing, okay? So actually download those. The link will be in the description. Takes a couple seconds to actually install these. They did not take long at all to download. And once you've actually downloaded those right there, you can open up the remote program. So one of the three programs, you open up just the one called remote. Now you'll know that the camera has been successfully connected because it'll pop up with an error message if you try and open the remote app without a remote device connected. That's basically what it is. The remote thing is a remote accessor to the device that you've now connected, which is acting as a remote device because uh, you know you set it up via the settings at the beginning and everything like that. And then you're actually going to open up into the remote kind of dashboard area. You can actually change settings in this and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. You can test stuff out, take pictures, start videos, all sorts of stuff like that actually automatically or remotely, remotely in the actual app, right? But what you actually want to do is essentially just switch it to live viewer. Live viewer should be pretty obvious. You actually change it over to live viewer. And once you do that, you'll be able to see yourself. You can wave hi to yourself and um, 
live view or live viewer. I'm not too sure if it's viewer or view. It's live view or live viewer. One of the two, they're both essentially the same. Uh, once you switch it over to that, you've more or less completed the most of the process now. So now all you actually have to do is, oh God damn it, I caught it that time. Two seconds. Uh, I tape my microphone to my uh, to my nipple so that so that it doesn't fall off because the clip is kind of broken a bit and it just tried to make a run for it, but I caught it right there. There was another video where it fell off in the last two minutes of the, the video where just, what's called audio from the floor. Anyways, what was I saying? Yes, you've connected everything, the live viewer, everything's essentially showcasing. Now you just want to go into OBS, which is the you know actual live streaming software, right? If you don't know about OBS, you're not using OBS, uh, go into whatever other live streaming software you're using and mimic this as best you can. But OBS is a totally free software that is personally by me heavily endorsed. I love OBS and uh, you know, it's a banger. So basically go into OBS and go to new source down there at the bottom actually make sure to create a new a new source. And what you wanna do is just bring in window capture. So it's gonna capture the window, which is the remote window. So, you know, the remote window also is set up to live viewer mode, which means it's basically just gonna be streaming that straight to your live stream program. Um, so it's not actually direct, which was something that I thought it would be right at, right at first. You're kinda of going through this little back alley way of doing it. Um, you, you actually, get the new source, you get the window capture, and that'll that'll put the whole window there. So it kind of looks weird, you've got the options on the side, but all you have to do is click and hold Alt, and you can actually enter crop mode. So this, as assumptions would lead us to believe, is the place where you can just crop stuff to the size that you'd like it, and all we do is just crop around this kind of live viewer section, crop out the nonsense settings and stuff like that, and that'll just give us the actual you know, video of us streaming directly, the live view, um, the remote view of the camera. And then we can literally just resize that to fit the screen. Personally, you could throw it all over the entire screen. For me, a cool thing I like to do is uh, throw a chat, like a live chat right there on the side. For me, doing my live streams, if you guys have tuned in, you know that you know I love talking to the people on my live streams. They're literally called ask me a question. So I just go down and just respond to every single question that you guys ask me. For me, I love having a live chat because then you can actually see you know, your, your comments actually popping up and everything like that. But that guys is in essence it. That right there is how to stream with a camera as your webcam. And as you can see right there, it's so simple. It's genuinely so simple. I'm gonna close the computer now that I've literally rattled off the points and processes essentially. If we actually go back down it, it is more or less so simple. I've done probably, I think I've done three live streams so far with this setup and it, it kind of does make me laugh because I could have done every stream I've been doing with this exact setup. I literally had all the equipment the entire time. Just in my mind, I, I needed some next level wires or something like that. I don't even know what I needed. All I needed is the wire that it came with, the camera, and uh, overall that right there is done and dusted. Sony camera people, you're sorted. Other camera people, I really hope you were able to siphon some of the, uh, you know, kind of process here and actually apply it to how to do it for your Canon or your Panasonic or whatever. To be honest, I think it's literally the exact way. You just might have to download a different app than the remote viewer app. Who knows, that app might be applicable to all cameras. I literally didn't even do that much looking into the app. I just knew I had to download it, get it sorted. And uh, overall, that right there is done and dusted. Literally, just to recap, all you have to do is have a camera, a wire, and a computer. The computer is the thing that you need to connect it into. The wire is what's connecting it, and the camera is the thing that's broadcasting. Then simply, all you wanna do is connect it all up. Well, switch to remote viewer in your actual camera, connect everything up, switch to camera, uh, yeah, to picture mode, literally just a one or two, right? Just manual mode essentially, right? Um, picture mode, and that's gonna make it readable by the, uh, uh, what's called remote app, the remote software that you need to download off the site, which again, I'll be linked down below. Microphone do not run for me. Um, this is making a little bit more, a little more fun. I'm just gonna see what happens if I put it right there. Okay, so that kind of works. Um, sorry about this, guys. We're at the end of the video as well. Uh, <laughs> yes, basically, get the remote app, connect everything up. It'll turn into live viewer mode. Then go into OBS. Literally, just create uh, what's called window capture or whatever, and uh, you know, then simply Alt to crop out the actual desired area of this window capture kind of view, throw it on there, throw any compliments you want, whether it be overlay graphics, uh, the live chat edition, like I did, stuff like that. And overall, that's it. 
Thank you guys for tuning in to another video here on my channel. This was suggested the other day, and uh, honestly, I'm happy to follow through with the suggestion. If you have any other suggestions, hit me up in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to create those videos that you guys want. And uh, honestly, I'm actually keen for the tip on some video suggestions. I've been making videos every single day for 10 months. You guys could think of the video ideas sometimes. <laughs> Please do. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all. Have a nice day. And when you're watching this, I'll actually be in Italy, staying in Rome for a week. I'll be back in a few days. Following Wednesday, I'm back on the 21st. I left on the 14th. So depending on which, what day you're watching this, I am in Italy. So wish me a happy vacation in the description below <laughs> if you want to. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a nice day. And I'll see you when I get back. Later.